Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. A lot of news to get to today. Uh, some news regarding Yellowstone, some of the things happening underneath it, as well as these mysterious booms that have continued happening all over the world. And, well, what may be a cover-up of these booms as the FBI is getting more and more involved with the investigation of said booms. And, well, we'll get to that news in a second. So, the first bit of news about Yellowstone comes with the 10th eruption this year of something called the Steamboat Geyser, which is the tallest active geyser in the entire world. When this thing blows, it sends up boiling hot water some 300 feet into the air. And it doesn't erupt very often. And that's the crazy thing, because just this year, and just a couple of days ago, this thing erupted for the 10th time. And not only that, but this thing has been erupting so regularly that they're starting to be able to predict now when it's going to erupt, something that they were never really able to do before. And it seems to be happening every 7 to 10 days. And uh, it's apparently stunning scientists, and they aren't sure why. Why the sudden eruption of this thing, and it's led many people to believe that something is definitely happening under Yellowstone. We all know that there is a super volcano underneath Yellowstone. It's a very active area, and every year that goes by, people are wondering, is this going to be the year that the big one blows? And if it blows, well, I think we all know what that means, and it would not be pretty. Now, this geyser is located in an area of Yellowstone Park called Norris Geyser Basin, known to be the hottest and most changeable thermal area in Yellowstone. And, you know, most geysers erupt infrequently, unlike other geysers like Old Faithful. And that's why scientists are now looking at Steamboat, because it's getting to the point where they're, they're able to predict it. It's ramping up 10 times in a year. That is something major, and it indicates something is happening underneath Yellowstone. Here you're seeing some seismograph readings that were published to the Cat Martin 2016 YouTube channel. She posted a video about this, and she noticed that on most of the seismographs around Yellowstone, there was a spike in activity. Something was moving under the ground. And this activity was even picked up in some of the boreholes that they have around the park. These are some of the deepest holes that they have around there. Uh, one of them goes upwards of a thousand feet deep, and even they were picking up this sound or movement under Yellowstone. And so my question is, is there something more than just this geyser that's erupting, something, something else moving under Yellowstone? Now, if you don't know, Yellowstone and scientists will confirm this is well overdue to erupt, with the last massive eruption said to have happened around 600,000 years ago, and that uh, it's overdue, and that it could happen at any time. Some scientists say, well, we don't think it'll erupt for another thousand years, but, I mean, it's, it's overdue. And with all of these other mysterious booms, shakings, movement under the ground happening around the world, uh, what's happened in Hawaii and Guatemala, with the massive volcanic eruptions there, it really makes me wonder. Now, on to the topic of these mystery booms. We have a new report here that links back to some of these mystery booms that had happened in Pennsylvania. And if you remember, we posted a video about that after the FBI actually got involved after residents around Milford Township, Bucks County, had been reporting dozens upon dozens of these loud explosions heard on various days over months and months and months. And if you follow my videos, for the most part, no one has been able to explain what these loud booms are happening all over the United States and abroad. But I think it's funny that right after the FBI got involved in this case, and in doing what apparently the local police and no other law enforcement could do, they suddenly have a reason for these mystery booms, or so they say. So check out this news clip and we'll talk more in just a second. The news tonight, another mysterious explosion in Bucks County. This one happened in the middle of the day, and now local and federal investigators are trying to find out if this blast is linked to dozens of others in the past few months. Action reporter John Rollins live in Milford Township with more on how residents are dealing with this potential danger. John. 
Rick, there have been numerous reports of blasts over the last 10 weeks or so here in Upper Bucks County. Most have not been traced. They've been heard in the middle of the night. They've not been located. Several, however, have. They've actually located small craters. That includes the one that happened yesterday. So it's more like very close to home. Thursday's blast was close to home for Melissa Fisner and her family, maybe 50 to 100 yards from her home. It occurred as a Milford Township tractor was mowing along a roadside and struck an explosive. That brought law enforcement, including the FBI, to the scene. The state police saying little except it believes yesterday's blast is linked to previous explosions reported in Upper Bucks County. The others were heard overnight. Thursdays, an outlier occurred at 1.30 in the afternoon. Maybe the ones in the middle of the night were kids just, or whoever, was throwing them and they were detonating on the moment on site. And this one was potentially one that maybe was a dud or something like that that was triggered. Because I think that was the difference, is the lawnmower, the guy that works for the township, triggered it. For months, people have been reporting this. I heard one last Sunday night. Uh, woke me up around 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning. And what did you make of it? Uh, a loud explosion. Since early April, there have been more than 20 blasts reported to police in multiple townships. Residents baffled and concerned as to who is behind the blasts. My kids saw it yesterday for the first time on the news, um, and they're concerned. They're kind of afraid to go out. My 11-year-old's afraid to go out and play. Um, they're telling me not to mow the lawn. Well, there's been evidence of blasts as far away as Upper Black Eddy, which is many miles from here. Uh, there have been multiple blasts here in this township, Milford Township. Today, the township put out an advisory that uh, said, in part, avoid roadside activities or otherwise use extreme caution. That's a quote. Presumably, they mean that while walking in uncut grass along a roadway here. Uh, it also added, if you observe anything unusual, to call the Pennsylvania State Police. Okay, so to boil this down in a nutshell, these mystery booms have been happening for months and months and months. Same booms that have been happening around the uh, United States especially because that's where we're based. That's where we get the most reports from. But they're happening all over. No one's been able to explain them. Uh, the ground has been cracking. Cracks going up buildings. People's houses rattling. Uh, you know, their windows breaking. Cars shaking. And now... As soon as the FBI gets involved, we now have this story being put forth uh, after these little tiny craters are being found in a couple of places around the area. And they're basically saying, well, uh, we figured it out. It's some sort of explosive going off. Uh, a lawnmower ran over one of them. Now, they don't go into any more detail about what kind of explosive it is. They don't give us any information. And for all I know, these little ditches could have been dug out. You know, and the FBI is just trying to calm fears about this and put out this theory. I just, I find it very strange that no one had found these holes. And yet, the moment that the FBI comes in, they find them within days. And it's mystery solved, case closed, go on about your business. And, you know, judging from these ditches, they look like ditches dug to me. You look at those, and then you go back and, and look at some of the testimony from people in the area who heard these things. People talking about their bookcases falling over because their home was rattling so bad. Describing feeling something moving underground, underneath their home, to where it shook their entire home. This wasn't just some loud bang in the distance from someone setting off firecrackers, you know? I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense. And so, you know, I'm very suspicious about this, and obviously, you know, I'll follow up on it, but this doesn't explain the thousands upon thousands of other reports of these booms happening. It doesn't compute. And I always knew that at some point they would come out and, and try to put out some simple story that's almost too simple. You know, they'd come in and they'd, they'd close the case within a few days. They did what no other person or agency could do. They couldn't figure it out, but when these guys come in, they figure it out within days. It just doesn't make sense. Something smells off here. So, you guys tell me what you think down below. Something is certainly happening underground. Seismographs are picking it up. It's not just above ground. It's not just a firecracker being... I mean, these things are being picked up deep and are literally shaking the ground. So, what could it be? Give me your opinion down below. Now, lastly today... We have a new piece of UFO footage. Now, this was captured over France on June 14th of what was described 
as sort of a horseshoe shaped object streaming through the sky into the clouds before disappearing. So check this out. Okay, so really, really intriguing piece of footage. When I look at this thing, I mean, it looks like something straight out of Star Wars. And as I pause it right here, this is probably the best shot of this thing. I mean, it looks like a U. It looks like a horseshoe-shaped object twisting and turning through the sky. Um, I'm stumped on this one, guys. What do you think it is? Some have said that it could be uh, a jet, maybe? And what we're seeing around it is the airstream going over the wings as it goes supersonic. I don't know. I mean, this thing seems to hold its shape. I, I really don't see in any of the footage or can't at least make out anything that looks like a jet. And I'm not sure if this thing is going fast enough to create the type of airstream you would see. Here you guys are seeing some images, different images from Google of uh, jets hitting this supersonic speed, creating this vapor cloud around them. And a lot of the times it looks just like a, kind of like a flat disk of clouds or a cone, it's called a cone. Um, and, and it really doesn't look like this U shape that we're seeing here. I, I would expect to see more of a cone shape and we're just not seeing that here. So I'm still on the fence. What do you guys think? You guys can head to Google for yourself, look at pictures of jets. Um, I'm not sold at all so really really interesting i'll put the original link to this down below head over and check it out tell me what you guys think and stay tuned because i've got more videos coming i'm working on a new one right now be sure that not only are you subscribed but that you have clicked the notification bell it looks like a little bell icon and click that you want to receive all notifications because something's happening guys and people are not seeing our new videos Make sure you check back to the channel once a day as well, because I usually post once a day. So tell me what you guys think. Thanks for stopping in, and I'll see you all back in just a bit.